Hello, this is a short, high-level, introductory presentation on the Keycloak project. In this presentation, we will discuss some core features of Keycloak, then demo them so you can see them in action. So what is Keycloak? Keycloak is a single sign-on solution that you can use to secure your browser applications and your REST web services. It also provides social login support for those applications that need to integrate with Google+, Facebook, and other social providers. Keycloak was designed to be an out-of-the-box turnkey solution. Keycloak comes pre-configured with all the user interfaces you might need to secure your applications. There are screens for login, user registration, and a user account management. Keycloak also has an admin console that can be used to administrate your security metadata. Besides single sign-on, Keycloak also has session management features. Users can log out of all of the applications they have visited in a single session with one click. Both users and administrators can view and manage their open SSO sessions. Administrators can view server-wide stats as well as automatically log out one or more users from the administration console. Keycloak can store and retrieve claim metadata like name, address, and phone number. You can also assign permissions to users through our user role mapping facility. You have the option to store security metadata in either a relational database or within the Mongo NoSQL database. Keycloak also provides user federation with LDAP and Microsoft Active Directory. Keycloak also has a federation SPI that your developers can use to integrate with any external service that you might have that stores user metadata. Okay, enough talk. Let's actually do a demo of Keycloak. In this demo, Keycloak will be used to secure access to two applications. One application is a very simple customer portal that just displays a list of customers stored in a customer database. The other application is a simple product portal that just displays a list of products from the product database. Once I have logged into the Keycloak server, I will have established a secure session and I will be able to visit either application without having to re-log in. Let's see this demo in action. This is the welcome page of our customer portal application. Clicking on the customer listing link here will bring me to a secure page that will list the customers in the database. Since I am not logged in, I will be redirected to the Keycloak server where I will have to enter in my username and password. So let's click on that link here. This login screen is rendered by the Keycloak authentication server and comes pre-configured out of the box. I'll enter in my username and password here and when I click login I'll be redirected back to the customer portal. So, so let's enter in my username, my password. And when I click on this login link I will be, will be redirected back to the customer portal. So now we're logged in and this is the customer portal page that provides a list of customers from the customer database. So you see here the customer listing right here. There's also some user metadata that it displays right here that was obtained from the Keycloak server. Uh, this is information about the user that's actually logged in. You can get information like the email address of the user, their full name, their address, the username, really all that kind of claim metadata about the user that is logged in right now. Okay, so that's the customer listing page. Let's now uh, go visit the product portal, the product application. So since I'm already, already logged in, I can visit the product application without having to re-log in. And I have a link to it on the customer portal page. So this is the product welcome page, and this product listing link here is the page that is actually secured. And when I click on this, I'm already logged in and we'll be able to view the product listing. So you can see here we got a simple product listing. I can go back and forth between the customer portal and the product portal without having to re-log in. So that's single sign-on with Keycloak. Another great feature that Keycloak has is user account management. As a logged in user, I may want to manage certain aspects of my account. 
If I click on this manage account link here, I will be brought to some screens that can help me to do this. So these pages here are provided by Keycloak. They, they allow me as a logged in user to change things like my email address and my name. I can also change and reset my password. And I can also view um, information about my open single sign-on sessions. For example, I'm log I know I'm logged in right now and I see that I have logged in from this IP address. This is the time and date when I logged in and these are the applications that I have visited. Finally, from this particular page here, I can actually log myself out of all of um, any open single sign-on sessions. Okay. Sessions can also be viewed and managed by an administrator. So let me log into the Keycloak administration console so I can show you this stuff. Okay, I'll log in as admin. The login button here. And this is the Keycloak administration console. If I click on the sessions and tokens link, here um, I can see for the entire realm which applications have active sessions and how many. So you see here we have one user active session with a customer portal, an active session with a product portal. I can log out everybody in, that's logged into the realm right now if I want to with this button here. I can also drill down on each application. So I'm drilling down on the customer portal application here and you can see I have one active session and I can list the users that are logged in to the customer portal. I can drill down even further here. So I click on B Burke here and I'm brought to the user, man user management page for, for B Burke. And then I can see the sessions for that particular user. This looks uh, pretty much like the user account management page has the same information. The IP address, when the session started, the applications that were visited. It also has a logout link. So for this particular user session, I can log out that particular session or I can log out all the sessions. So let's do that. I'll click the logout button here. And you see now when I visit the product listing page, I have to re-log in. Okay, so now that we're in the Keycloak Administration Console, there is some other features that I can show you that Keycloak has. So let's go to the Settings link here and go to the Login Menu item. One great thing about the console is that it has tooltips. If you see a little um, information icon, you can mouse over it and it'll give you a short description of what that particular uh, user interface item does. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is uh, user registration. Keycloak out of the box comes with a user registration page that you can enable from the administration console. So I will enable it here. I'll click save. And now when I go to the login page for my realm and I hit refresh, you see that there now is a register link. So as a user coming into the site for the first time, I am able to register myself. We have a simple registration page. Another feature that Keycloak has is Forgot Password. If you click the Forgot Password checkbox here, click Save. You'll have to configure your email server settings. What you'll see here is when I refresh the page, there is now a Forgot Password link. When I click on this Forgot Password link, I can specify specify my username or email and Keycloak will send me an email that has a link that I can click on that will allow me to reset my password. Okay. Another thing that Keycloak has is a remember me option. If I enable that, go back to the login page, you see now there is a rem remember me checkbox. Usually when you close down your browser, you're logged out of all your sessions. What the Remember Me checkbox allows you to do is uh, the user can click it and when they log in, and if they close their browser, they will still be logged in. Okay, so those, those are some simple login options. 
Another cool thing that Keycloak can do is it can allow you to log into Google, Facebook, and other social providers. So you have to make sure that the uh, the login checkbox is enabled. It's already enabled. We'll go to the social menu item here, and we'll add a Facebook provider and a Google one. Right now, I'm just entering some dummy keys, but you'll usually have to go to Google and Facebook to to set up your uh, client account there so that you can accept logins through your applications. So I'll save changes here and I'll refresh the login page and you can see now I can log into Facebook or Google. Another great thing about Keycloak is you're not limited to just password credentials. So right now Keycloak is configured to require users to enter in a password when they, when they log in. You might want some uh, more secure credential login requirements like uh, a one-time password generator or two-factor authentication. What this is, is um, it's a little token generator that runs on your iPhone or your Android device and it generates a temporary password every minute that changes. So when a user logs in, they will have to enter in their password as well as get this temporary password from their iPhone or their Google Android device. So now the user is required to log in via one-time password. I'll click Save here. And when I log in now, oops, enter my password, hit Login. Now, um, since one-time password has been selected as a required credential, uh, when I log in for the first time after that setting has been configured, I will have to configure um, one-time password for this particular user. So each user will have to go through this. So this page will tell you to go download the Google Authenticator application to your iPhone or your Android device. And it has this nice um, scannable image here. And I'll do that right now. Right now, you can't see it, but uh, I'm on my iPhone. And I'm going to scan this barcode in. And my authenticator will automatically be configured on my iPhone. And after I've done that, I must specify my one-time password. So this password is only viable for one minute. And I'm entering it in right now. And once I click that, I will be logged in. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Another great thing that Keycloak can do for you is uh, it has pluggable themes. So right now, um, when I log into the customer portal or product portal, you see I have this generic uh, page that comes out of the box with Keycloak. And I have this uh, Keycloak icon. Now that, that isn't too great for your application because you probably want to brand the, the login page for your particular websites. So what I'm going to do here is I have a pre-configured theme that will change uh, this icon here to be a Red Hat logo. So I will change that, click Save. And now when I refresh, uh, you see that there is a Red Hat logo on the page. Um, I'm not just uh, limited to setting what the logo is. Um, uh, Keycloak has some some style sheets that you can modify on the fly. Um, you can change the format of the login page using our, our template uh, formatting engine. Um, and you can do this not only with the login page, but the user account management page. You can specify a different theme. And even the, uh, the admin console, you can change its skin as well. Okay, that's about it for this presentation. Um, I went over some of the basic core features of Keycloak. Keycloak has a lot of other interesting features as well, so I urge you to read some of our documentation on our website or view some of the other screencast tutorials that are available from our document, documentation page. Alright, thanks a lot. Have a good day.